Well, good morning, guys. So this video will be a comprehensive guide and diagnosing and troubleshooting what to look for, what to check, how to check it, and like basic knowledge what I know um, on these cars, engines, and EPFs. Just a disclaimer: like I don't claim I found out this old information or I knew it from the beginning or I just like was born with this or like wake up one day and I know everything all of a sudden <clears throat> I read a lot of things on forums did my own research educated myself uh, read manuals as well on, on the Skyactiv engine so that's how I know all the information or where I collected it from so it's not obvious it's not my own I know it now but I don't claim that it was me who originally find everything out phenomenon I want to talk about is cavitation erosion what that means basically the injector nozzles or the tips have holes where it sprays the fuel into the combustion chamber during or caused by the cavitation erosion the holes became bigger and it, it can the spray spray pattern can, can change it can leak or it can deliver more fuel than it is expected um, and Mazda as far as I know had a bad patch of those injector nozzles and tips and that's why you may have the DPF light flashing or staying on or coming up on your dashboard because the DPF on its own is just a filter. So what that does, it filters um, the particulate matter so that reduce emission. Once it fills up, it does the region, um, how it is programmed to the ECU and then it fills up again and regions again. So the problem is if, if you have that cavitation erosion present on the injectors it adds too much fuel to the combustion chamber so that it can trigger the the region too often there are basically more things that go, can go wrong um, which can indicate the dpf malfunction lump the dpf just don't go bad on its own obviously it can get to the state when you need to get a brand new one because it is fully blocked <clears throat> and it cannot be cleaned or fixed or repaired but usually it happens either because you have air, rest air restriction in the system and reason for that is uh, one is the carbon buildup intake manifold or egr parts are clogged with carbon and by that what it means the the sensor reads the air getting to the engine let's say the muff or muff sensor but in reality less air gets in, sucked into the engine because there is a blockage so the air cannot get through it or all the air going to the engine cannot get past that restriction or blockage but the fuel the ECU tells the the injectors how much fuel they should add to that amount of air so what you will have you will have rich condition because you will have more uh, fuel than the air so that uh, then gets down to the crankcase dilutes the oil with um, with uh, with fuel so you can have more issues from that which i can talk about a, a long hours um, basically what you can have these the blocked uh, oil strainer on the sky actives um, oily jelly on in the cylinder head but what are we, what we are talking here about is the injectors so so that that you have that extra fuel and it gets to the it heats up the dpf filter and then it it is doing the regions too often too frequently and there is like a trigger in the ecu once that is happening it will eventually throw a code if if it notices that it's happening too often and i don't exactly know that number maybe 30 miles i'm not 100 percent sure on that one but if the region is happening 30 miles every 30 miles then the ecu triggers the dpf uh, inspection fault code or something like that i think p 243 c or something like that so that's the fault code if 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 it if it's happening too often but the reason is bad injectors so and you cannot really pinpoint it because even though if you check the live data and the correction factors the correction factors can still be good but your in injectors can be bad it is like it is like more like a telltale sign if you have a dpf issue it is very likely not the dpf itself but rather like that's that's just a symptom but the root the cause is somewhere else it has to be found somewhere else which are very likely the injectors so this car came to me 
like I've done carbon cleaning, I've done a few things on it, but let's talk about the DPF issue side. The owner said that he had the DPF light came up two times. I think he even done some kind of, not he, but he took it somewhere and he done some kind of cleaning on it, which I'm not 100% sure about, doesn't matter. So what I've done, I've done the carbon cleaning, took out the battery, so it reset the, the, the miles, like um, how much miles, like a, like a trip, um, I'll show you which, when I switch the camera. So I zeroed the trip and I done 100 miles on the car, which is 160 kilometers. And during that period, I also reset the oil dilution data and the oil change because he told me he just done the oil change 2000 miles ago but when i checked in on my scan tool it showed me that the oil last oil change was done like uh, 24000 kilometers or so long ago and the oil dilution was 200 grams which is a lot but he didn't reset it or he didn't know how to do it or he didn't know he has to reset it or he had to reset it so i cannot really take that into consideration so i reset everything i reset the oil dilution the oil uh, oil change the dpf values so i can start from ground zero so i did reset it i didn't clean it uh, i just i just drove the car during that 100 miles the car done two regions um a last one was like two kilometers ago like so what that means the 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 distance between the regions was like 150 kilometers or nearly 100 miles if you will which i can't say it is too bad but i think it should be around 200 miles or 150 miles that that would be ideal so it is doing still a bit frequently um i've checked the exhaust pressure data out before it was like 20 millibar which is which again it's not too much ideally we want that we want that number as close to zero as it can possibly be but usually if you have three millibars it's very good but anything like single digit numbers anything below 10 is very good he had 20 which is not that bad i, I see him like higher numbers now he's got like four because the car done the region so it it moves the numbers down and also the the accumulation of the particle of matter is at the moment is very low which i will talk about a bit later in the video like what that is how what, what to check for um so i i i zeroed everything it done the two regions again how you know that the car is regenerating it, on the newer models when you have that in face i think that's the facelift one so you have the menu or menu point for the ie loop or the intelligent charging of the battery or the i stop menu whatever that is like i'm not 100 percent sure on the name or how what is called but you have the the battery icon the ac icon and the engine icon there and if i'm not mistaken if i'm correct when the car is doing the region so basically the two three icons appear on the bottom right corner of that display if you are in that menu point and when the car is doing the region the 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 background of the engine is not gray it's not lit up it disappears so that you know that the car is doing the region and when it's done it's finished the region um it comes back and also if if you notice that you're driving the car and you don't turn off the eye stop and it doesn't stop like in the traffic when you pull up to the traffic light and the car doesn't stop then you know that it is doing a region and also another sign if you have the consumption average consumption screen on i'll show you what that is or where that is you have it on and you have let's say 40 mpg or 45 mpg average and it suddenly drops like maybe like it drops by 5 mpg or it halves itself then you know it is doing the region um the, these are the two things how you know that the car is doing the region so yeah let, let me now switch the camera and uh, like talk a bit a bit about what to check on the diagnostic and on the dashboard okay so as you can see sorry for the glare there is the con average consumption if you monitor that screen and it rapidly goes down let's say today when i took this one for a test drive i started with 45 and the mpg was like i was doing like highway motorway and the mpg wasn't going up or rather down that I, then i knew that the car is doing the the region 
also it's not on this display because like you can this is the older display so you need to have the the newer one and basically if you are in that e i i e loop or what that is called you have three icons here the engine ac and the battery and they have a background so if they have the the gray background it is not regening the engine if the engine doesn't doesn't have the the grayish um, underlay or un outer glow or glowing effect around it it is regening and also if you don't have the eye stop turned off and when you pull to the traffic light and the car doesn't stop then it is doing the region so now let's check the 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 values what to look for so as i said i done 100 miles the car did two regions here is the engine coolant temperature uh exhaust differential gas uh, like differential pressure of the exhaust gases you need to monitor that at idle here is the dilution amount so it is like five grams which he had before like 250 250 grams which is too much but again i don't know if it was because of like he didn't reset it properly or he didn't reset it at all and that's why so then the, you have the accumulation the particle matter and the desired accumulation amount of the particulate matter so it is low at the moment and like after the region you want it as close to zero as it possibly can be that means that it was cleaned thoroughly like properly by the by the regeneration process this triggers the region after it reaches a certain number which i'm not 100 sure but if it reaches six grams per liter then i think it will start the region i'm not 100 sure on the number though so once it it reaches that certain amount of number or amount it starts the, it triggers the region obviously it has to be up the car has to be up temperature the exhaust has to be up to temperature and then it triggers the dpf regeneration um what else we do have here okay so as you can see we have like we done the the last region was three kilometers ago so that's that's how you know like i cal calculated it from that so it's 160 kilometers minus three kilometers it was like um, i don't know 157 kilometers so it is nearly 100 miles for between the regions which is again we want at least 150 miles so what i'm going to now do now again i need to get that one the temperature of the engine coolant up to 80 so the operating temperature and then i'll check the exhaust the differential pressure of the exhaust gases and then i'll do the cleaning and show you how to do it um, where to put the, the the cleaning the probe or the the lines what fluid i use what tool i use how to do it properly and then we will check back with the scan tool of the data i'm going to reset everything again and then going to check everything again take it for a test drive try to get it done at least the region and see when it is doing the region um but yes um, so let me start start up the engine i can do it even now and let it idle and now you see that this point it is averaging around I didn't even know maybe maybe let's say 0.4 so that is 4 millibars which is very very low which is very good number because it just done the region so I'm going to wait till the M, uh, the coolant temperature reaches 80 degrees and then I will do the the DPF cleaning which I'll show you how to do it here is the kit or the equipment or tool which I'm going to be using on the Mazda so this is the cleaning fluid goes into the bottle gets sprayed I'm going to use the hole for the pressure sensor with this probe and also I'm going to sorry the temp for the temperature sensor I'm going to use this probe for the where the temperature sensor goes to the DPF filter and then this one the the line the hose i'm going to use uh, on the pressure sensor 
so clear uh, and uh, this is the gun it needs eight bar of air like pressure then it is sprayed in in five second intervals so uh, hold the trigger for five seconds release it for five seconds and then hold it again so it needs it, it in a burst mode with the engine off um then leave it for like 50 minutes just to to have it like acting or dissolving the suit in the dpf so first cleaning fluid flushing fluid the same way both the same same way and then take the car for a test drive and try to do a region or a forced region and then check check the numbers okay here is the exhaust pressure sensor no sorry the differential pressure sensor this one so i disconnected the left hose and disconnected the or removed the pressure sensor two bolts and nuts from rear 10 millimeter bolts remove it connect the, the gun to it have it connected to the compressor use eight bars of pressure and in a short intervals like five seconds just spray it once you spray the entire bottle there use the, the purge fluid the same way and then I'll show you what to do.